By the way, thank you for turning me on to pretzel. You're welcome, man. It's great. It's really good. We're track landing here. Landing gear attracted. Happy trails. All right, we'll do that here. Javelin is a short range one with a high alpha damage. Supposed to be effective versus both. Thank you. Like their music, music is pretty decent for a free program and royalty free. I absolutely agree. It's like I don't. I, I, with a lot of these programs, I end up skipping a lot of songs. But with Pretzel, there's only like a handful of songs I skip. You know, they they have good a good curation process. They're really good at picking music. Okay, let's try this one out. Javelin. Oh, that animation. Did you see the... The arms, like, kind of extend out. Ex Ooh. Duck man here, people. <laughs> External view. Ooh, man, I like these designs. It, it, it's it's like, like Titan AE, man. Very reminiscent of, of the Dredge in Titan AE. Great movie if you haven't seen it. Back inside. It's like a flat cannon. Stop that! Watch me not stop it. I'm gonna ram you too. Crazy AI pilot. Boop. Wow, it actually took it. I don't know how fast I was going, but it took that hit. I only lost a couple of uh I lost all my <laughs> all my shield energy. Did I lose no pips to in what my shields I just ram everybody with this thing dude I lost no shields with that that can't be right something's wrong let's ram them again chat for science okay I lost one pip there that time I lost a little bit of shield. That last time, man, I, I lost nothing. What? Is this bugged? Is this bugged? That, wait a minute. That, I lost no shield after that ram. Okay, I lost a little bit on that one. It's like... <laughs> it's close range. I guess they give you a lot of shield with this. She's adapting. She's avoiding me. There it go. That's what I'm talking about. That's the one I was looking for. That was the boot. That was the boot I was looking for. All right, cool. Man, it was it was crazy. I was I was hitting that thing almost full speed and just no shields were going away. Request docking. 
I will note we are parked in the Donald Duck section. That was cool though. I like. I think I like that one the best. Even though it's a short range weapon, I might like that one the best. Deploy landing gear. Watch the paint, Commander. The other one was more maneuverable though. I think that was the balanced one, according to what uh, Fu was telling me. I think that one is a little bit less maneuverable, but it's uh, more balanced. That was a javelin. Um. Okay, so let's change to the third one. I, Derpy Davey, if I would destroy my ship with the fighter, that would have been that would have been a plus one for the fighter. All right, I'm gonna sit down. Bum, 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 bum. All right, here we go. To Luther, thanks for all the host, man. Everybody showing some love. So now we got the last one, which is the Lance. Yes. Indeed. This one has the Gauss. Uh oh, I might be in love. <laughs> Any one of those Alliance ships an Explorer? No. You can put the FSD booster and strip them down and get some good jump range, but they're not. Neither one of them. All these Alliance ships are like anti-Thargoid, it seems. That's the whole narrative. Retract landing gear. Retract landing gear. They all have blah, the same blah, blah. speed and yaw pitch roll stats. Blah, blah, really? Blah. So it's just weapons. Interesting. I guess that's the uh, that's the guardians. I mean, I thought that one was less renewable, but I, I guess that could have been just me assuming it was. <clears throat> I love these animations when it launches. Just watch, like the outside. Oh, you couldn't see it there, but the, oh, it just did it. It's like come down like this. Me likey bouncy chat. I like it. Oh! Oh, you're the target. You don't know it yet. Ooh, ooh, that's yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Oh! How much heat damage can I take, chat? That much. Fighter assembly initiated. That's good. I like that. All systems ready for departure. What the Amanda. I already like rails to begin with, so that just that just resonated with me right there. <laughs> but but not Burn out barrel. Request docking. You got it, Captain. All right, guys. That's our first look at the 3.2, uh, 3.2 update. Overall, I'm satisfied with the new Guardian beacon. If you guys haven't seen that beacon yet, that is a marvel. It's a really nice structure. Really cool effects. Um, I'm kind of meh about the blueprint grind never was a fan of that but it didn't take that long considering i got everything today deploy landing gear and doing the puzzle three times really d doesn't take that long either um so deploy landing gear Thank watch you. the paint commander 
We don't have the credits. Land. 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 Smack. But uh, yeah, uh, overall, it's acceptable. They this is this fits the narrative of their 3.1 and 3.2 were smaller updates, where three point whereas 3.3 is going to be a large update. Um, it's a lot of Guardian stuff in this. This ship that I'm flying, external view. This is called the Crusader. So it looks very similar to the Challenger and the Chieftain. Uh, it just has a fighter bay. It's a major difference uh, between the other ones. And um, it's okay. It's a medium class ship with a fighter bay, so that's good. But I would choose a crate over this in almost every other situation. Every situation there is. Um, the crate is such a good ship all around. And that's like, if you ask me what the problem with this ship is, it's the crate. Were those rear panels? I think those are uh, um, heat vents. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, it's ex yeah, these are heat vents. You'll see them on all the ships. Unless you're talking about these. The one sticking up. I don't know. I don't see any panels sticking up that are obvious. I see this thing. Right behind the cockpit. Those aren't panels. Should I actually get a crate over an Alliance ship? If you want a medium class ship that has a ship launch fighter and all the bells and whistles of a medium ship, the crate is arguably the best medium ship in the game right now. So it's like it, it just ticks all the boxes, you know? Yeah, this is the original skin. This is how it comes. Hard point O2 panel. I can tell you right now, I don't know what it is, but there's four, there is one, there is two. This thing, which seems to be a utility, I think. Hard point O2, it probably is a utility slot. I don't know. Or it could be my guns. I don't know. I have a. Uh, This is more of a fin. Look at it. It's not a panel. That's a fin. And if I were to deploy my guns, it'd probably move. It's like a fin. It's like no function at all, like this tail. It's like <laughs> it doesn't function any purpose. It just looks like a fin, you know? I don't know, man. I would ask. I would ask Frontier. I don't know. I don't know what that's supposed to look like. Back inside. Back inside. Let's let's go to hard point two and see what it's supposed to do. I don't know. the same still actually that's not where okay i see it now hold on so if i go to hard points i'm gonna remove it see what what it does when it goes down that's by design dude you saw that animation that's by design. 
I just put the Neo gun in here. Just put a beam. Watch it go back. See? It looks like it's too high right here. Of course, I can't see that unless I... Let's see. In that case, it's floating. It wasn't floating when I looked at it before. External view. External view. I don't think I can zoom in on that. No, it's not floating. It's actually sitting on something. We just couldn't see it from that angle. I think it reset the hard point though. Because you can't put hard points out inside the hangar. Fine, it's glitch. I don't care. I chat. You're right. It's crooked. It's wrong. It's floating. I don't even care. I don't care. <laughs> Back inside. You're right. I, I really don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Okay. Like, I, I really didn't even notice it. You guys noticed it before I did. No, it's just, I, I, I don't know. Okay. Thanks for coming by, guys, for Elite Dangerous. We're going to be switching over to a different game now. Um, it has been fun. Um, first time I've been back to Elite Dangerous in about, I want to say, two to three months. It's been a bit. It's been a bit since I've been in the game. So it was fun. Um, I see some things I want to do, like the FSD booster, maybe a couple of the, the large, uh, the large kinetic weapons that came out. They seem to be decent, but I really haven't had a chance to try them yet. But be honest, the, the, I, I mainly only use, or I plan to use the anime missiles from Lee Young, Lee Young, blah, blah, whatever his name. And, um, and multi cannons. So they add a large multi cannon, but it's getting, I mean, it's a, a turret. So I don't really care about that too much unless I was doing multi group. So, but the FSD booster is fixed from what people have been telling me is actually really, really good. So that's good. <laughs>